other part of the chapter we study specific heat specific heat of a substance is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of unit mass of that substance through 1 degree celsius or 1 degree kelvin the units of specific heat are calorie per gram degree celsius in cgs kilo calorie per kilogram degree celsius in mks and joule per kilogram kelvin in si such that 1 calorie per gram degree celsius is equal to 1 kilo calorie per kilogram degree celsius 1 calorie per gram degree celsius is equal to 4.2 joule per kilogram kelvin and 1 kilo calorie per kilogram degree celsius can be written as 4200 joule per kilogram kelvin hence the specific heat is expressed in different units for liquids and solid there is no appreciable change in the pressure and the volume when the temperature rise is small so all the heat supplied is utilized to raise the temperature of the substance hence solids and liquids have only one specific heat but in case of gases even though the temperature change is small there is a considerable change in the pressure and volume of the gas this means when a gas is heated some part of the supplied heat is used to increase the volume of the gas or to do external work and the remaining part of the supplied heat is used to increase the temperature if volume of the gas is kept constant all the supplied heat is used to increase the temperature hence gases have two specific heats which are specific heat at constant volume and specific heat at constant pressure if m is mass of the gas s is the specific heat capacity and q is the amount of heat supplied and theta is the rise in temperature of the gas the amount of heat is given by the formula q is equal to ms theta or specific heat is given by the formula q upon m theta in case of isothermal expansion heat is given to the gas and it is allowed to expand slowly so all the heat is utilized to do external work that is to increase the volume so the temperature of the gas remains constant in such case as theta is equal to 0 s becomes infinite in the extremely opposite case that is in case of adiabatic compression a gas is suddenly compressed as a result its temperature increases without supply of heat in such case q is 0 but theta is not 0 hence specific heat s becomes 0 thus for a gas the specific heat changes from 0 to infinity for adiabatic compression to isothermal expansion hence it is necessary to define specific heat separately for constant volume and for constant pressure condition specific heat at constant volume is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of unit mass of a gas through 1 degree celsius or 1 degree kelvin at constant volume specific heat at constant pressure is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of unit mass of a gas through 1 degree celsius or 1 degree kelvin at a constant pressure these specific heats are called principal specific heats for gases it is convenient to specify these heats for one mole of gas c 
such specific heats are called molar specific heats molar specific heat at constant volume of a gas is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 mole of a gas through 1 degree celsius or 1 degree kelvin at constant volume molar specific heat of a gas at constant pressure is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 mole of a gas through 1 degree celsius or 1 degree kelvin at constant pressure if m is the molecular weight of the gas then cp is equal to mcp and cv can be given as mcv it is found that specific heat at constant pressure that is cp is always greater than cv why when a gas is heated at a constant volume no heat is wasted in increasing its volume or to do external work hence all the supplied heat is used to increase the temperature of the gas hence less amount of heat is required for unit rise in temperature when a gas is heated at a constant pressure its volume increases hence part of the supplied heat is used to increase the volume or to do external work thus remaining part of the supplied heat is available to increase the temperature of the gas thus remaining part of the heat is going to increase the temperature less than increase in the temperature in case of constant volume hence more heat is needed to raise the temperature by 1 degree celsius hence cp is always more than cv if wex is the amount of external work done by the supplied heat at constant pressure and cv is the heat used to raise the temperature of the gas through 1 degree celsius or 1 degree kelvin cp can be given as cp is equal to cv plus wex latent heat in general latent heat l of a substance is defined as the amount of heat required to change the state of unit mass of that substance at constant temperature means for example it is the heat given during the conversion of ice into water or it is the heat given during the conversion of water into steam in this stage there is no rise in temperature of the ice water or the water steam combination but the heat given is utilized to change the state when the state is changed intermolecular distance increases so the part of heat supplied during the change of state is used to do this work this work is done against the intermolecular forces during the change of state there is change in volume also so part of heat supplied is used to do this work of change in volume also hence there are two kinds of latent heats the first one internal latent heat it is defined as the part of total latent heat l which is used to perform internal work against the intermolecular forces of attraction to increase the intermolecular distance it is denoted by li and number 2 external latent heat it is defined as the part of total latent heat l which is used to perform external work during expansion it is denoted by le therefore l is equal to 
एल आई प्लस एल ई इफ वॉल्यूम ऑफ वन मोल ऑफ सब्सटेंस चेंजेस बाय डी वी एट कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेशर पी द एक्सटर्नल लेटेंट हीट एल ई इज गिवन बाय पी डी वी ऑल्सो द वर्क डन अगेंस्ट द इंटरनल फोर्स और इंटरनल फोर्सेस इज द राइज इन द इंटरनल एनर्जी दस एल आई इज इक्वल टू सी वी डी टी हेन्स एल कैन बी रिटर्न एज सम ऑफ सी वी डी टी एंड पी डी वी इफ यू राइट द इक्वेशन लाइक दिस इट विल बी इन द यूनिट्स ऑफ वर्क और इन द मैकेनिकल यूनिट्स सच एज जूल नाउ एल इज इक्वल टू सी वी डी टी प्लस पी डी वी अपॉन जे दिस इज द इक्वेशन in terms of heat units or calorie where j is the mechanical equivalent of heat